Welcome to Faith Revival Place International. I'm your host, Minister and Prophet, M.G. Mays. Also, this is Faith Revival Holiness Church. Welcome. Let us begin in prayer to the Lord. We thank you, Father, for all things. We thank you, Lord, that you rule and reign upon us. Father, in this very dark age that we live in, Father, let us be the light that shines brighter than ever before in this dark world. Father, let us uh, our salt be full of, of flavor so that we can present the gospel in a logical and a heartful way and a good way to all that need to hear it in this world. Father, I pray for people to be saved, people to be healed and delivered today. Father, I ask that your presence make people whole. I thank you, Father, that you reign on your peoples. Father, that we are, if we're born again, that we, we are part of the heavenly kingdom. We're a nation within a nation, a people within a people, scattered all over the earth, Father. And we thank you, Father, for all these things. We thank you, Lord, that you make all things good and well and holy. And we thank you, Father, for all these things. And Yahweh saves you, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus, we pray, Yahweh saves. Amen. Restore our judges as formal times. In our counsel as the, in, at the beginning, remove from us sorrow and, and the sight. Uh, reign over us, Yahweh, you alone, O Yahweh, who love and kindness and compassion clear us in judgment. Blessed are you, O Yahweh, the king who loves righteousness and justice. Selah. We thank you, Lord. We thank you that you're a God of, of kindness and justice, wrath and love, and the centerpiece of all of who you are, O oh God, is holiness. So today where we are going to go is we're going to go um, um, to Ezekiel chapter 16, verse 1 through 63, and it's uh, Yesekiel, uh, uh uh, realize, realize, we got to realize, amen, we got to realize, and uh, so let us begin by going to chapter 16 of Ezekiel, and the word of Yahweh came to me, human being, make Jerusalem realize, we got to realize, are you realizing what you should be doing every day for the Lord? Are you letting religion or worldly dictate your ways? Are you are you studying God's word? Are you having a relationship with God today? And realizing what you must do every day for the Lord. Realize. And how disgusting her practices are. Saying that Yahweh Elohim is telling Jerusalem by origin and birth, you are to our uh, land of uh, Canaanite. Your fathers were in Emory, and your fa and mothers were Hittites. As for your birth, on the day you were born, nobody, and cut your umbilical cord, washing your water to clean you off, rubbing salt on your uh, wraps of your clothes. No one sees you how enough pity on you to do any of these things for you. No one had any compassion on you. Instead, you were thrown into an open field and on own filth on the day you were born. I, I passed by and saw you there, swallowing in your own blood. As you laid in your own blood, and I said to you, Live. 
How did God say love? And when you were in the in the 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 the, the junkyard of life, and He told you to love, He made you a born again believer. Are you living for the Lord? Are you living back where you shouldn't be? And as I said to you, as you lay in your blood, live. And I will increase your numbers just as they planted growth in the field. And you did increase and developed your reach. Uh, and, and the beast appeared and your hair grew long. But you were naked and exposed. And again I passed by you and looked at you. And I saw that you at the time had come. And the time for love. So I spread my cloak over you and covered your private parts and entered into a covenant with you, says Yahweh Elohim. He's entered a covenant with all of us. Are you going to deny? Are you going to be so scared that you're going to give in to these worldly practices of this world? Are you going to stay in the covenant with the Lord, your God? And you became mine. And then I bathed you in water, washed the blood off you, anointed you with oil. Remember the oil symbolic also of the Holy Spirit. He anointed us with his spirit. And I, and I also clothed you with enduring crown. It gave you fine leather sandals to wear, but a fine uh, leather headband of your head and covered you with silk and gave you jewelry to wear and bracelets for your hands and necklaces for your neck and a ring for your, your nose and earrings for your ears and a beautiful crown for your head. Thus you were decked out in gold and silver and clothed with fine linen, silks and riches and dormant of clothes, and you ate finest flowers, honey, and olive oil, and grew increasingly beautiful, and you were fit to be queen, and your fame spread among the nations, among the, your beauty, because it was perfectly due to have restored my own splendorness on you, says Yahweh Elohim. He put his splendorness, he put his beauty in us, the beauty of the Holy Spirit in us, and therefore made us born again, made us righteous in his sight. So what are you doing, O oh, churches and synagogues of today? You going astray from the principles of his covenant? You, you're saying that you'd rather be adorned with worldly things, and you're breaking the Father's heart by doing so. And if I was you, I would get on your knees and repent, O oh, earth. But you put your trust in your own beauty and being prostrating yourself because of your fame, so, saluting everyone passing by and accepting all uh, comers. And this is what you've done in your mega churches and your mega synagogues. You, you adorn your own selves instead of understanding that God is the one that made you successful. Haven't you forgotten where you came from? You took your clothes and used them to adorn with bright colors and high places and, and you made for yourselves and there you continue prostrating yourself. Such things shouldn't happen. And in the future, they wouldn't have. And you, and you also took your beauty jewels and made of, of gold and silver, which I have given you, and made yourself male images with, with which you continue to prostrate yourselves. And you took the ambulance clothes and covered them. And you set my olive oil and my incense in front of them. And you took my food, which I have given you, 
and you my fine flour, olive oil, and honey, and you gave and given you to eat, and set in front of them to give them pleasure aroma. That is how it was, says Yahweh Elohim. And this is what you have done, O earth. God has given you all these beautiful fruits and vegetables, all these things, all, all, all the knowledge of making all kinds of things of beautiness. And you have made it filthy, every one of you. And you have forgotten the God that created all of you on this earth. Moreover, you have your sons and daughters whom you have borne me. You took a sacrifice for the dormant. Were there uh, fornications of your uh, cause matters? Killing my children, handing them over and settling them apart for these false idols. This is why abortion is evil on the side of the Lord. It's an innocent one, and you are killing them. The Lord is against all that kills the innocents. How dare you think that killing an innocent baby is right? Do you, are you so out of it? You not know that you're killing innocents. Do you not know before it has even a speck of a body? There's a spirit that is given to that baby, even before a body that you can see starts growing in the mother's womb. Do you know how sinful and evil it is to do such things? And all your, your discussion practices, all your disgustous practices and fornications you never remembered and considered you were in when you were youth, naked, exposed, and watering in your own blood. Have you forgotten all churches and synagogues where you came from? And what, where the Lord took you and planted you and made you strong, and you have forgotten and forsaken your first love for all the and exposed yourselves back into the ways of the world. Woe unto all of you that have done these things. Stop doing them. Follow the Lord your God. He loves you. So after all of these wickedness of yours, woe, woe to you says Yahweh Elohim. You built platforms and made yourself high places in every open space. And you built your high places very street corner, turning your beauty into abomination, spreading your legs for any uh, passing by, multiplying your actions and fornications. You had sex with big Membered Egyptian um, uh, neighbors and engaged in fornication over and over. Just as you provoke me, stop provoking Yahweh, O earth. So now I have stretched out my hand over you, determined that your uh, ration of food and put you in the mercy of those who hate you. The daughters of the, the Philistines, who find you lewd and behavior and revolt. Still unsatisfied, you act like whores, also with your, within your people of Asher. Yes, you fornicate with them, and where you still not satisfied, and you multiply and act on fornication with the land of traders, of Keshtim. And still weren't satisfied. Yes, you are so weak-willed, says Yahweh Elohim. You, you do all these things and behave like a shameful whore. Building your platform to every street corner. Making your high places in every open space. And yet you aren't like, like a whore because you scorn getting paid. Here is a wife who commits adultery. Stop committing spiritual adultery. 
to Yahweh, O churches and synagogues. You have done it. Stop arguing about it and start repenting. Do you hear me? The Lord is hurt with you. Why do you think all the nations are so bad? Why do you think all these evil things are happening in the world? Because his synagogues and churches have fornicated against the ways of the Lord. And who does to the bed of strangers instead of her husband? But also instead of receiving gifts like, like everyone a prostitute you give gifts to all your lovers and you bribe them to come to you from all over the places and have sex with you yes are are the oppressors of other women and 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 soliting of, of of fornication you aren't solitating you pay them and they don't pay you don't you're oppressors Stop doing these things. You might say, well, how were our nations doing these things to God? Well, you, for instance, your governments are taking your taxes and giving it to nations of terrorism that kill innocent babies, that hurt the women. And then you you say, oh, you clap your hands and say, oh, oh good. And you, you keep on foreigners aiding against God by doing so when you should say no do not use our taxes these ways and the Lord it's a, it's, says enough is enough on this earth it's time to repent O earth it's time to get right with God or the Lord will have to judge you very harshly like he's never have been before on this face of the earth. Not even in Noah's time with the flood will be such a great judgment as this one that's coming. And it will be individually judged on each individual on this earth. Woe to those that go astray from the covenants of God of this earth. For the Lord is serious about these things. And all right, you're whoring, listen to the word of Yahweh. You whores of this earth, listen to the words of Yahweh. Yahweh Elohim says, because your filth has been poured out and your private exposed through your acts of fornication with your lovers, the world, and because of all the idols of your disgusting practices and because of the blood of your children, Hurting, hurting the innocent one even before they got out of the womb woe well unto you, which you have given them. Therefore, look, I am going to gather all your lovers to whom you have been so very nice, all of the, the ones who hate right along with the, all the ones that you love, and I will gather them against you from all over the place and expose your private parts to them so that they will... See, you're completely naked. And I will pr pronounce all the sentences implied to the woman who commits adultery and murder. And I will bring on you the death decree for, for fierce anger. Yes, and I will hand you over to them and they will make a ruin of your platforms, tear them your high places, strip you of your clothes, take away your jewels, leave your naked and exposed, and they will also bring up the, the mob against you, and, and who will stone you to death, uh, uh, hack you to pieces and, and with swords, and they will burn your house to the ground and, and ex execute judgment against you in the presence of of many women and I and I will make you stop fornicating and you will never again pay for your lovers so the Lord will judge greatly all small and great on this earth so stop fornicating against Yahweh O Arabs stop fornicating against God O Jews and Christians O pagans of the world stop fornicating against Yahweh Get right with Yahweh. Get right with Yahweh's saves. Get right with Him. 
and because you have fornicated against God, O oh Lord, and it's time to stop. It's time to stop, O oh, Arabs, fornicating with false gods uh, and start going to the true God, the God of the Bible, Yahweh, which sinned over 2,000 years ago. Yahweh saves Jesus so that you can be saved as well. And yes, I will successfully my fury against you, but again that my jealousy will leave you. And I will calm down and no longer be angry. Because you didn't remember the conditions you were in when you were youth. But enrage me with all these things. Therefore I will bring conclusion of your ways on your own head, says Yahweh Elohim. And you committed these atrocities and adding to all other disgusting practices. Anyone who quotes Proverbs will quote this proverb against you. Like a mother, like daughter. Yes, you are your mother's daughter. You despise her husband and children. You are a sister of your sister who despised their husband of your children. Your mother was a, a Hittite and your father was a Morite. Moreover, your older sister in Sharon, who lives at the left, she and her daughters and her sister living in, in, the, in, in the rights of Sodom, who her daughters. And you didn't merely live by her ways and act according to her disgusting practices, but in very short time you act more corrupted than they all their ways. Did you hear what the Word of God says? That you act more disgusting than Sodom and course Gomorrah. So you preachers that are big time preachers, you better repent because the Lord says you're more disgusting than Sodom and Gomorrah. You, you preach all these things, you mega preachers, you mega synagogues. And you preach all kinds of things, but you won't preach about repenting. You won't preach about being right with God. You preach about money. You preach about getting stuff. You preach about all the things that are are you get in the natural realm that God is against. And the Lord says, "Enough is enough, you you wicked preachers, you wicked rabbis, you wicked evangelists in this world that know you're preaching wrong things. Stop preaching about getting money and start preaching to the people, repenting and getting right with their creator, God. Because that will get you everywhere with the kingdom of God. It's getting right with God. And as I live, says Yahweh Elohim, your sisters Sodom have not done, neither she or her daughters, as much evil as you have done, America, Canada, European Union, woe unto you, nations of the world. You have in your daughters, the, the, the crimes of your sister Sodom were pride and gluttony. That was the crimes of Sodom, was pride and gluttony. And she has, and her daughters were careless and, and non-compassion, so that they did not, uh, nothing to help the poor nor the needy. And they were arrogant and committing disgusting acts before me, so that the, when I saw it, I swept them away. Sharon did not commit even half as many sins as you did. And you committed many more disgusting acts with your sisters. In fact, the, the comparison with all the disgusting acts you have committed, they are more intense. But you too must bear your dis 
your disgrace. For by passing judgment that your sisters were, uh, were innocent, through you have committed sins, whoring and with them, they are shown to be more righteous than you. So be shameful, bear your disgrace, and, and detest for making your guilty sisters seem innocent. And I end the, their exiles, and the exile of, of Sodom, of, of her daughters, and the exile of, of Sharon, and her daughters, and the exile of the captors of their Ammon, so that you have done to the shill them for feeling their own guilt. Yes, your, your sisters Sodom and your, your and her daughters and her, so, so, Shemar and her daughters will return to their previous condition, and you will and your daughters will return to your previous conditions. And when you were very so proud, you spoke condemn ab about the sisters of. Uh, of Sodom before your own wickedness was exposed but now your daughters of Ammon mock you so that do her neighbors and and the daughters of the Philistines and every side are disputing with you disputing another word for that and I'm sure you're thinking on, on this is the land And, and and you brought and you brought it all on yourself and you deprived and disgusting practices says Yahweh so the Lord is basically saying to the whole world stop your whoring stop your garbage this is garbage you know he's, he's talking to everybody every walk of life and in different ways here and but he's also saying to his beloved of today, his church and synagogue, that you need to stop your whoring as well. You need to stop doing your detesting practices and go back to the old days when you love God with all your heart. You don't love God with all your heart because you did. You would speak out against what's going on in your nations. You wouldn't fear what the, they can do to you because you know if you don't speak out for what is right, you're going to have a greater judgment with God someday. And what's going on right now with your churches and your synagogue is detestable. You, you, you won't speak up when the city hall starts taking and stop and stop praying in God because they, they one stupid atheist comes by. That, that is really darn right wrong of you churches. You need to speak up and say, wait a minute, City Hall. Wait a minute, government. You are going to pray in Jesus' name, Yahweh's name. But no, you don't. You let all this get worse instead of better. You, you, you're so afraid what the world's doing that you forget what God's going to do to you when he gives you a wallop spanking for here is what Yahweh Elohim says I will do to you as you have done you, you, you treat the oaths of contempt and by breaking the covenant what covenant Yahweh's covenant don't do it nevertheless I will remember the covenant I have made with you when you were just a girl and were established an everlasting covenant with you and when and then I will remember and and your behavior and be ashamed for of you and and receiving you as older and your sisters and make them your daughters even through the covenant which you have just not covered that and I have well we establish my covenant with you and then you will know that I am Yahweh even though you don't keep God's covenant God's gonna remember his covenant he kept with you and never 
went asunder like you have. You just remember these things. So that you will remember and be ashamed that you will never open your mouth again. So ashamed you will be, uh, then I will forgive you. And you will, then you will have done, says Yahweh Elohim. So remember the God that loves you. Remember the covenants of God. And no, they don't start in, in, in Matthew. They start in Genesis going through Revelation. You know what? There's a lot of wrong practices in the church of today. And I'm going to correct one of them right now. And that's that you think because it's an upgrade covenant that you don't have to follow anything in the Old Testament. And that is wrong. If the reason why a lot of the churches of today are failing, are going wrong and sour, because you don't have all the coming of God. You just have the extension, which is of the coming, when you read the New Testament. You don't got the full coming of God. You, you don't know it until you read the Old Testament. If, if the people acted like you in Moses' day about the Abraham covenant and the Noah covenant, then guess what? They'd cut off the Torah and they would have cut off a lot of it. And they didn't. And then the prophets, when they prophesied, and you know what? They didn't cut anything. They, it was added on to. God always adds on to his covenant. And he makes it better and better. And I got news for you. There's more new covenant he's cutting very soon with us. There's a new, there's new covenant coming to the earth soon. When Yahweh saves a true Messiah of, of, of the Bible. Comes the second time. There is another coming, coming, a greater one than the one that you read both Old and New Testament put together. Coming. It's the millennial coming that, that completes all the things in the New Testament that has not been fulfilled yet. That you, you, you the pastors and rabbis will not talk about because they do not want you to read the Old Testament and get the fullness of God's covenant. All you're getting in the New Testament is the, the uh, new extensions of the covenant. But you got to understand the full covenant and you can only understand it by reading all the Bible. And so... It needs to stop saying that we have a, a newer covenant, so we're just going to read the New Testament only. That is abomination in God's sight. What he means by new covenant means he made the covenant better. But all that is in the Old Testament is still part of it. But it's in a greaterness. And so you, just reading the New Testament, you're not getting the full covenant of God. You got to read what Abraham talked about, what Moshe talked about, what the prophets talked about. You got to understand where your heritage came from. And a lot of you say, no, no, no on that. Well, you better start saying yes, because we're all from the seeds of Abraham, not just spiritually, but naturally, because all the 12 tribes of Israel scattered all over the earth. And then you got the Arabs that came from um, Abraham and Jacob too. And so there's a lot of brothers and sisters out here. And, but we need to be right and understand the fullness of everything of the word of God from Jesus to Revelation. Now is the time that I ask those that did not know the Messiah. They don't know Yahweh correctly. They accept him as your Lord and Savior. You Arabs, it's time to stop going to this false idol called Allah, which is Satan. That's Satan's name, 
One of his fallen names is Allah. Allah is Satan's fallen, one of Satan's fallen names. Do you not know that? And and your ancestors did not worship those things. They worship Yahweh along with your brothers, the Jew. Do you not know that? You've been lied to. Many of you in your Arabic countries have been lied to. Saying that that is God. It's not God. It's Satan. And when you worship those things, you put your allegiance to Satan. That's why you. That's why a lot of you are so violent in these, these, these countries because you worship the devil, not God of the Bible, the God of the Torah. That that Abraham worshipped, you know, and Daniel. He talks and prophesies that, that you would fall into a strange God. A strange, wicked, false God. It talks about in Daniel that you that the Arabs would do these things. They would do it, they would fall into a strangeness. And you have. But it's time to be, repent and 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 get saved. And over 2,000 years ago, Yahweh sent his image down to earth and made it a sonship to represent all the, the that fell away, both Arab and, and 12 tribes of Israel alike, to make 100% of this earth. So that we can be redeemed from all the sins that we committed against Yahweh on this earth. Through his image that he sent to her. A lot of people call Jesus. But it's five times translated out wrongly. Because it loses the word power in his name. He's power of salvation. And it's not the salvation. He's power behind all the salvation. He is the Yahweh saves. And so you can be saved today. You can be right. You can you can finally feel free inside your heart. The hatred can leave you and that you have that the devil is putting you for for your other brothers and sisters because we're pretty much all brothers and sisters on this earth. We all came the Bible says we all came from one man, one race, and all from the one race of that Adam that we came from, all the nations came. And then we, then we, because of the climates of our and, and our family heritage, our skins change to what they are now. But we're all from one race, Adam. We need to be proud to be um, Adam humans on this planet, from the seed of Adam. But the second Adam came. To take care of, of things that weren't right in, in humanity. And he did. He, he died on that cross over 2,000 years ago. To set us free from the bondage of this, this world of sin. Amen. So you can be saved today, Arabs. You can be saved, you, you, you uh, worldly Christians and Jews that are not saved. You can be saved. You can you, you can go more than just the name Christian and Jew. You can actually be saved today. That's so wonderful. And all the pagans of this world that are brothers and sisters too, they don't know any better. You can be saved too. So with everybody repenting in the hearts and minds to the Lord of, and asking for forgiveness, let us pray. Dear God Yahweh, I ask you into my spirit, soul, and body as Lord and Savior in my life. Love you very much, Yeshua Jesus. Amen. If you prayed that prayer, there's many angels and many people rejoicing right now with you. We love you. We love you enough to tell you you must be saved. Now that you are saved, we, we, we love you enough to, to explain what it is the new nature in a nutshell is. And that is to be a child of God. And, and to be part of the kingdom of heaven now. 
And that means you're a nation within a nation, priesthood within a priesthood. Amen. And you are in service, employed to do the king's will. The king is Yahweh. He's also your daddy and creator. Don't forget he's the creator. Very important. And so now you do daddy's will. What is his will? To duplicate what he's doing in your life. Amen. And, and to, to present that gospel to others. Hallelujah. So now I also need to let you know. You must be baptized in water. What does that represent? That represent dying further out to your brain and your heart of that old nature. That old nature of socialism and communism and, and liberalism and libertarianism and, and all these isms that will make you sick spiritually that you don't need of. You need to be in the new nature, born again nature. Amen. Everybody likes to put names on these things, but it's being born again. Simple and sweet. Born again. Born again. Child of God. Amen. Isn't that simple enough? You're born again. You know? And there's many cultures, many creeds, but we're all part of his body. Amen. But we're all come from one race that that has been redeemed by Yahweh saves Jesus. Amen. And so now I also want you to recommend to you read the Gospel of John, first and second, third John, Deuteronomy, Proverbs, and that's your assignment for the next year. And uh, God bless you. So now let us go now to praying for the sick and heavy laden. For the Lord loves you. Let us pray together. Praise the Lord. Heal us, O Yahweh, and we will be healed. Save us, and we will be saved. For you are praise, O grant perfect healing to all our ailments. For you, O mighty King, our faithful, merciful healer, blessed are you, O Yahweh, the healer of the sick and his his people, the twelve tribes of Israel, and the Christian Arabs. Selah. May the Lord heal you. May the Lord restore you. May the Lord be with you. May the grace of God and the judgment and the love of God and the joy of, of the Lord be with you and help you, restore you. May your ailments grow less and less to their nothing and may blessings flow upon you. May the joy of the Lord strike all of you very heavy now in the name of Yahweh. And may you feel very wonderful and very secure that Daddy God, your God, your Creator, your Savior is, is working after you today. Shalom. Let us end with the Shalom prayer together. Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. Wholeness that brings the peace that passes all understanding be with you. Nothing severed, nothing broken, all complete in the Lord God Almighty that loves you. May you seek the Lord out. May he guide you in all his ways. May you go forth in God's peace today. May you see the way you are through the eyes of the Bible and God today. Shalom to you. Forevermore, shalom.